What's up, fam? Mr. Country CEO back in the house again, man. Look, day after Memorial Day, time to get back to work. Three day weekend. We definitely appreciated the rest, but it's time to grind now. You got to grind to shine, right? Welcome back to the channel, subscribers, family, and friends. Look, want to answer uh, uh, some channel questions by way of video on this week, and uh, got this one about two weeks ago. Uh, talking about uh, what if work slows down in your area, what should you do? Good question, good question. What if your city or where you are doesn't have the work, right? So what you have to do is, is you have to, first of all, what I would do is, um, you know, find the first major city that you're um close to, right? That makes good sense. The first major cities, more population, more roads, tend to have more projects going on, right? So I would thoroughly research the state website, county website, city website for that major city to see what they have going on. Somebody blowing at me. And so um, I would do a exhaustive search there, right? Uh, Shame of commerce, like everything that's in my book, right? To find out where the work is at in that major city. All right, and then if it's slow in those city in that city, then I would probably go to the next major city, right? Next after that. Um, let me just go ahead and say this, that you have to be willing to travel sometimes in the dump truck business. I, I go as far as two hours out sometimes. So that, you know, if the money's right, we'll travel. Did you get that? <laughs> Money's right. We'll travel, right? We do it even now with the company we work for. The local plant that they have uh, is not, doesn't have anything going. Well, they'll send us an hour and a half to how, what is it? About an hour and 20, 25 minutes to the next plant, right? And then the furthest one is about two hours from my house. We've worked out of that plant before, or we worked on their jobs before that are like two hours away, two hours and 10 minutes away. All right, so they sweeten the pie, give us travel time, that kind of thing to compensate for that, or they'll pay more an hour for that. So you got to be willing and you got to have in your mind that sometimes it may not be right there at your front door, but you got to be willing to travel some upwards to two, two and a half hours if the money right. The key is just get the money right, and it's okay to travel and go do that, right? Um, I have had instances where we went four hours away. But they paid for the hotel. They gave us four hours travel time. So you, you have to be willing to do that if that's what it takes to make sure you got revenue coming in for your business. So I hope these nuggets are good as well. And so what you're trying to do in these instances, you're basically trying to get something going, keep your truck going until the work comes back closer to home. There was a time in Baton Rouge where the work was slow. It was dry. And we had to go to surrounding cities. You know, other they're not as big as Baton Rouge, but they were all mid-level cities in order to find work, right? Lafayette, Hammond, Alexander, things of that nature. So you got to pack your bags, man, do whatever it takes to make it. That's part of what I call the sacrifice in this business. You got to be willing to do that. So um, to top off this video, so if you research your, the nearest city and the nearest city, then you extend out into the other cities and don't overlook the small municipalities that you might consider, oh, ain't nothing going on there. But shoot, that might be the main place that a road is coming through, right? Or the main place that somebody's putting something major development coming through there. So don't overlook your small, smaller cities as well. That's what I would do if the work is slow in my municipality. Been there and done that. Uh, I, I'll say this, and I'll end with this. There was even a situation that I was willing to pack up and go and stay in a whole three, four hours away or during the week and then come home on weekends, but something else happened. I didn't, it didn't come to that, but I was willing to do that in order to survive. Cut the CEO giving you some nuggets on what to do if the work is slow in your area. I'm got it. You got it now. I'm gone.